How's it going everybody? Welcome back. The blind guy is back at it with some more Dying Light 2. So today i um, going to do um, the side mission um, called the Rats in the House. Um, so we are down here uh, in the... Or actually I'm heading to um, the metro station right now. Basically, you pick up this uh, side mission in the um, bar area, one of the safe zones, um, the canteen uh, called the Fish Eye. Um, I didn't uh, start out the the quest uh, right here. Um, I had picked it up earlier just so I could get it on the map. Um, so this is a night, another nighttime mission. Um, you have to. Um, go here at nighttime and kind of clear out the um, the metro station and you get a safe zone out of it and I think you get one of those inhibitors for uh, upgrades uh, to your health and stamina um, so I'm figuring out the best way to get over there and there's a howler right in front of me I'm out. Start a chase, but I'm trying to boost on out of here. Excuse me. Nope. Nope. Let me go. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Nope. See ya. Nope. Get off me. Out of here. Okay, it's right over here. Yeah, there it is, right there. Hop right through here. Luckily, uh, they don't chase you in here, so that's a good thing. Because there's already there's already a bunch of dudes in here anyway. Basically what we got to do here is um, there's uh, some generators and stuff um, that we have to turn on to get the uh, the power back in the metro station, get some UV lights going and stuff. Um, this mission sounded interesting to me because the guy was saying something about like, uh, you know, it could be as simple as just flipping a switch down here, but then he was saying something about uh, somebody told them a story about uh, they got led into a trap by um, some of the zombies and it seemed like the, the zombies were like working together like cognitively uh, which um, kind of piqued my interest it almost sounded like we we're gonna get some like you know smart zombies down here or something so definitely wanted to come and check this out Not going that way. Go through here. Try going this way. Pick up the loot on the way. No me and the loot, guys. Gotta get it. I'm so methodical in this game with getting, with getting loot and resources and like, it, it's crazy. I'm kind of glad I'm not doing a, not doing a full series of this game. Um, even though I really like it, uh, I'd just. Uh, be way too methodical and I'd be taking way too much time because um, that's what I'm doing on my own on honestly like I'd be I'd feel pressured and feel like I'd need to rush through the game if I was doing a series so let's see what's down here Looks 
looks like we gotta go over here. Sneak around, everybody. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Still not bad at the lock picking. I think I've only broken a few lock picks. I'm in the control room. Nice. And I've just found a switch. I think of the first I think I mentioned this before, I think, in the first game. Nicholas, the switch didn't work. Damn it. Yeah, it's There's not another way. Up for giving it a try? Let's finish this. There should be an electrical room with military generators further below. Look for an elevator. Maybe you can go down the shaft. Generators. What are military generators doing in the metro? Seems the tunnels work great for moving troops around the city. Only first they had to clean the infected out. And to do that, they needed a lot of light. That called for a lot of power. Here. It looks like nasty, toxic stuff in here. <coughs> Yikes. Gotta love platforming with toxic stuff around. I craft some inhibitors. for the monkey bars. Really been enjoying this game a lot. Been um, just kind of running around and seeing, seeing everything that there is to see. Grab everything that I can grab. Um, just kind of picking up side missions as I, as I see them trying to do them and it, honestly I think I think that's a good uh, that's a good thing to do in this game um, you it seems like you level up oh god get out of here uh, it seems like you level up um, pretty slow in this game if you're just kind of trucking through the, the main story but uh, I feel like you know, it's still kind of slow, but if you um, if you do the side stuff as it comes up, um, you know, you kind of you kind of get good levels doing that. So, um, you know, if you're if you're a person that's just like, nah, I don't want to do the side stuff and just like rushing through the rushing through the main story, I feel like you kind of you kind of be selling yourself short and potentially. Um, Kind of might be in a tough spot in some areas. That's what I would imagine. But with what I'm doing, it seems to seem to be pretty comfortable, like fighting, fighting stuff and whatnot at this point. 
beginning of the game is kind of rough because you don't have a lot of health or stamina. Um, but as long as you're kind of like searching out those inhibitor inhibitors to get the upgrades, um, you know, that, kinda, that really kind of makes the game easier for yourself. Go back up here. That's all there is right now. The way that guy was talking, I'm expecting to fight some like super zombies or something down here. Huh. Okay. I guess not. That was kind of misleading. I expected a lot more trouble down here. The guy was telling me about the mission. I was like, oh God, Nicholas, this is going to be ridiculous. Generators are up and running. But uh, I don't know. Maybe that's just what he was talking about, about the smart zombies. Yeah, when that when that guy was talking about the smart zombies or whatever, like, um, you know, maybe that's just alluding to something later on. I thought I was gonna be encountering something down here. That was kind of cool, though. Another little safe spot. I think, I mean, it says, like, the loot disappears if you press that button, but, I mean, uh, essentially the inhibitor is really the most important thing down here, and that appears after you, after you hit that switch, I guess. So, um, you know, really, any other loot at this point, I'm not really going to worry about. Let's see. Get back up to that guy. Look, it's like right by here. Yeah, up these stairs here, I think. Yeah, here we go. Let's see, we got a combat point too. Seeing what I want to do here. Hmm. It's looking at a couple things because some of these moves I forget how to do the ones that I already have. I have to go with that. Yeah, it seems good. Okay. 
So yeah, quick little night mission. Let's see what this guy has to say now. You got a problem? <laughs> yeah, but uh, too dangerous to pull anyone else into. Come on, just got a side mission. Okay, have a seat. I'll tell you the whole story. My name's Paul. I'm on a damn good scavenger team. Me and Daisy are in charge. Her son Fitz is our second. Recently, some assholes moved into our territory, trying to push us out. Avery and Francis. You heard of them? No. Well, they're bad fucking news. Daisy went to talk to him to be neighborly. Our neighbors beat her and broke her hand. It could have been worse. Even after that, we were willing to talk. I mean, we're not fighters. So Fitz took the crew with him for another meeting yesterday. I never came back. And I don't know what to do. I, uh, I need to find them. I need to know what happened. I see. Okay, I can take a look. Where do I start? Oh, you're a godsend. The team must have left from our staging area. Back in the day, it was called the Incubate Building near Goldstone Loans. The signs are still up, so you shouldn't have trouble finding it. Just take a look. I'll make it worth your while. Promise. I'll check it out, and we'll see. I can't believe I was long enough to see the electricity turn back on. I'm impressed. Honestly, I mm -hmm. didn't expect you to go all the way down. The sadness. I finished what I start. Luan was right. You're one tenacious son of a bitch. What else can I do you for? Where'd that chemical gunk I ran into come from? It was created to fast-forward the infection to the terminal stage. Basically kill the infected with a form of premature aging. Wasn't supposed to have any effect on the healthy or recently bitten, like you and me. But it didn't work out that way. So that's why my biomarker goes crazy when I get near it. Yep. But that's not the worst of it. Some say the military knew how lethal the stuff really was. Hmm. It suited them to finish off every last one of us. Why? Only the colonel knows, but the old bastard never leaves his fortress. But if you really want to know the truth about the GRE, just check out their labs. They're scattered all over town. Lord, the shit that must have gone down there. How do you know so much about military installations? I'm a bartender. I'd get GRE guys in here, incognito of course. Military brass trying to lie low, even big shot ministers of whatever. After a few generously poured shots, they all had stories to tell. I learned about the Metro generators from the skittish guy in glasses. The retired history teacher type, all buttoned down, needed to spill his guts to someone. Later, they hanged him for war crimes. Sorry guys, I'm gonna go through all these dialogue options because this well, I like this guy. The He's got a lot of good info. Especially if you want a crash course on the city. The carriers? Can you tell me more? The carriers guild. They're an elite band of messengers delivering letters and packages all over the city. Kinda like pilgrims, except inside the walls. Oh, and they're not outlaws who wander around looking for work. No offense, bro. I'm taken. They know every square inch of this city. You'll learn your way around in no time working for them. Their headquarters is on downtown court, inside the metro station that bears the same name. Here, take this letter to Driscoll. He heads up the guild. Solid guy. He'll give you a shot. You can trust him. Thanks, Nicholas. I gotta go. Thanks, Aiden. With skills like that, you'll find plenty to do. Another sad mission. But watch what you get yourself into. All right, nice. So yeah, it was cool. I thought there'd be, be a lot more to that, but uh, anyway, guys, hope you're all doing well. Stay tuned, more coming at you. Take care.